Good morning, noon, evening or night depending when you're watching this video. My name is Legend, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today I'm playing my Manticore on Spotorovka or Pokorovka. Cannot pronounce it so I just say Spotorovka because this is the perfect map for a light tank mission 15 of the Object 260. But it's a kind of a redo because I actually already achieved the mission uh, a while back in my AMX 105, also on this map. So how am I going to do it with a tank which is, well, almost worst in every single aspect, except for camouflage, of course. Find the nearest bush, which is semi-safe because they're still on EBR, and try to passive scout. So this is very standard gameplay up till now, where you can see what kind of an advantage better camo has. Already the enemy light tanks, both of them are reduced to half of their HP, one of which is because of me spotting him. And right here, they make a huge mistake by rushing in, thinking they can get away with it. The very poor play, maybe they were already discouraged because they were already on half HP. But what this means is both of the enemy light tanks are now gone. Giving me pretty much free reign over, well, at least another quarter of the map without me getting in any trouble of getting spotted. So right now I can do pretty much anything a uh, passive light tank wants to do. Because the EBRs are a hard counter to this kind of passive light tank spotting who, well, wants to progress further and further along the enemy lines. You have to be very careful not to get interdicted by the fast EBRs, but right now I don't have that problem anymore. So I can move forward little bit by little bit, however I still need to be a bit careful. Because, well, I have some personal trouble regarding camo values, because sometimes I really underestimate it, thinking that I get spotted uh, right before the light tanks were, well, crossing to our lines. I was already considering moving away because I thought I would get spotted but I I took the chance that stood my ground and well I didn't get spotted but but multiple times I think I got spotted but it don't no I don't my camo value is just that good and other times I think I don't get spotted because there is like 10 rows of bushes in front of me and I do get spotted so yeah Camo values is kind of a weird thing, especially with the new equipment. Uh, this battle was before the whole equipment 2.0 and the equipment luckily for spotting enemies in bushes didn't exist, thank god. Well, right now, I'm just slowly moving further and further. So these are like optimal conditions for light tank mission 15. However, uh, in my AMX 105, that battle, which I really hoped I got uh, the replay from, however, that battle resulted in my death alongside with my platoon mates uh, in the last uh, push. We were on the other side and we wanted to push uh, A1. However, the enemies were so um, were camping hard and were able to counter us at the last moment. So, well, we didn't really rage quit, but we were done with the battle. Even though I 
did achieve uh, lightning mission 15 go to the next and since i only got well last replays on i lost that replay unfortunately because in that game i was a little bit more active as a scout actively uh, around e2 e3 in that little hole right there on the left And that's the other way to well, achieve lightning mission 50 because as a passive scout of course with the ebrs are kind of hard but when they are gone it's a whole lot more easier also when you are active scouting by the way i think that all the battle some kind of the same thing happens so the most important thing if you want to achieve light tank mission 15 for the object 260 or well any of them for high amounts of assist spotting damage you have to focus the enemy light tank first because they can counter you and counter spot you in which yeah, you can get fired from all kinds of direction by the enemy team who you can't spot yet however in this engagement it is a little bit less action-packed uh, I do want to uh, point out that I will always be at the front never letting the T57 heavy get in front of me because I want to spot anything not the heavy tank spotting is my duty and well because of that the clean sweep of the whole 1-2 line resulted in me already having 12 thousand near 12,000 spotting damage which is more than enough for a light tank mission 15 which I believe was 10,000 well I added <laughs> I added the correct number in if I'm wrong so right now it's just a cleanup um, <laughs> shooting wise and normal damage wise it's gone really bad I mean I didn't want to shoot that often of course because I don't want to get spotted but out of all the shots which are already six right now only one <laughs> has really well connected and did damage as well so right now I'm just a little bit uh, <laughs> I really want to get some extra damage in trying to amp up the combined damage as much as possible Yeah, yet, yet another, yet another good shot. This tank, my god, this tank can only excel in these kind of situations. When the enemy light tanks are gone, and you got a huge open map with a lot of bushes when, in which it can use its cannibal value. Because the other thing of the Manticore, which is great, is the penetration, but well, yeah, we saw how that worked out in this battle. So as a result, this wasn't an ace tanker because I well didn't do a lot of damage of normal damage, uh, but I do get spotter and patrol duty, of course, for the more than thirteen and a half thousand spotting damage. This resulted me getting top on experience, even though I ended with only two others with the lowest amount of damage. But that's the power of assist damage. It can still give you a lot of XP and a lot of, well, extra rewards. And also a very nice amount of credits. As a short recap, the, well, the battle you saw right here was very standard passive scout gameplay. Not the most exciting ones, but it gets the job done. Knowing which bushes you want to take and knowing when to, well, go slowly further and further keeping an eye on both your team how far they are moving with you and do not let them overtake you and the enemy team uh, in the way and also keep an eye on the enemy team and the locations they are at keeping you at a safe distance at all times so you don't get spotted but the most important thing i think uh, in achieving the light tank mission 15 for well, pretty much any stage is to prioritize the enemy light tanks first if they make a mistake punish them 
try to destroy them because without enemy light tanks you get so much more control of well the front of the map especially in these kinds of open maps so that's the best tip i got and that is the end of this video and i will see you next time Laters.